Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. This video features a very important biochemical technique called zone electrophoresis. You must be familiar with the term electrophoresis, which is nothing but the movement of the charged particles under the influence of electric field. So when the migration of the charged particles occur on a supporting medium, or simply you can say, when the movement is supported by a supporting medium, that movement we are talking about zone electrophoresis. The principle of the zone electrophoresis is that the separated components are distributed into zones or bands. To understand this, let's do it diagrammatically. To carry out zone electrophoresis procedure, the first thing we need is an electrophoretic chamber in which separation of particles would take place. Second thing is electrodes, negatively charged cathode and positively charged anode. Then we have a supporting or stabilizing media in this chamber. Next we place our sample to be separated on this medium. After this, the electrophoretic buffer is added through which electric field will travel and then we switch on the power so the current will move. A sample has both negative as well as positively charged particles. So the negatively charged particles would move towards positively charged electrode which is the anode. Similarly the positively charged particles will migrate towards negatively charged electrode which is cathode. And after some time, you would see the bands of separated components at their respective locations according to their charges. This way the particles would be separated. Now the supporting medium on which or through which a particle will travel can be any of the following. It can be paper and that would be called paper electrophoresis. The movement can be supported by a cellular's acetate membrane. Mostly used as mediums are the gels like agarose and polyacrylamide. And they are called agarose gel electrophoresis, specifically done for separation of DNA. The polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is mainly for protein separation based on size of proteins and charge. We will talk about these in detail one by one in future videos. Now the zone electrophoresis comes with a lot of advantages. This is used for biochemical investigation. Different biomolecules can be differentiated and separated according to their size and charge using these techniques. Next benefit is that these techniques are cost effective. The most important advantage of this technique is that Small quantity of sample can be used to separate the components. So it does not require large sample volume to carry out the experiment. The recovery of the used sample is in great quantity. That is the sample is known, diffused or somehow lost during the procedure. Despite of these benefits, there are some disadvantages of zone electrophoresis. Most important disadvantage is that it's not possible to separate those proteins which have isoelectric points. This was all. Thanks for watching.